In this video, I am going to show you how to find a single force resultant of a system of parallel forces. Here in this diagram, you see a system of parallel forces acting at different points of a planar body in x y plane. I would like you to take a very careful look at this diagram. The forces shown here are not coplanar forces because they do not lie in a single plane. Instead, they are spatial forces that is they are spread over a three dimensional space and since they are all parallel to z axis, they could be called as parallel spatial forces. Now, spatial forces in general cannot be reduced to a single force, but in this particular case of parallel spatial forces, it is possible to do so. So, let us quickly examine how it is possible to reduce these forces to a single force. As a first step, the given system can be reduced to a force coupled system consisting of the resultant force R and the coupled moment MO at any convenient point, say point O, like this. This is R and this is the couple moment in x y plane. The moment of each of the forces about point O would be in x y plane and when you take a vectorial sum of all those moments, the net moment m O would also be in x y plane. So, the resultant R is along the z axis and the couple moment is in x y plane. Now, since they are mutually perpendicular, that is the angle between the resultant force vector and the couple moment vector is 90 degrees. These two vectors are mutually perpendicular and therefore, it is possible to move the point of application of the resultant R from point O to some other point, so that its moment about O is same as M O and then the couple moment can be eliminated and we would be left with just a single resultant force. So, as you can see in this diagram, the resultant force R has been moved from point O to point A, so that its moment about point O equals couple moment of M O. So, the force resultant R acting at point A is the single resultant force of the given system of forces. The magnitude of the resultant can be determined by summing the individual forces which are all parallel to the z axis. So, we have the equation R is equal to sigma f. The coordinates of the point of application of the resultant R can be found from these two equations. How do we get these two equations? Well, the numerator in this case is sigma f i x i. This is the sum of moment of all the forces about the y axis and the moment of the resultant r about y axis is x r. Therefore, equating the two x would be sigma f i x i upon r and this numerator here is the sum of moments of all the forces about the x axis. And r times y also is the moment of the resultant r about the x axis. Equating the two expressions, we get y is equal to f i y i upon r. Now that we have understood the basic concept, let us go ahead and solve a problem. So, here in this problem, we have a square foundation which supports four columns and we have to find resultant of the four loads. The loads are all parallel to each other along y axis and we can assume the y axis to be pointing in downward direction. So, the resultant R would be equal to sum of the forces F 1, F 2, F 3 and F 4 and this would yield R equal to 140 kilo Newton pointing in downward direction. Now, we can find the coordinates x and z of the resultant force r 
by using the equations x is equal to sigma f i x i upon r. Now, the 24 kilo Newton force is at a distance of 10 meters from the z axis. The 16 kilo Newton force also is at a distance of 10 meters from the z axis and the 20 kilo Newton force is at a distance of 4 meters from the z axis. The 80 kilo Newton force is on the z axis itself. So, therefore, its moment about z axis would be 0. So, we have these three terms which represent the moments of all the forces about the z axis and divided by the magnitude of the resultant would give us the x coordinate of the point of application of the resultant and that is equal to 3.4 meter. In a similar fashion, we can determine the z coordinate of the resultant force and that will be equal to the sum of moments of all the forces about the x axis. The 80 kilo Newton force is at a distance of 10 meters from the x axis. The 24 kilo Newton force is also at a distance of 10 meters from x axis. The 16 kilo Newton force is at a distance of 5 meters from x axis and the 20 kilo Newton force is on the x axis. Therefore, its moment arm would be 0 and the numerator here represents the sum of moments of all the forces about the x axis. This whole term divided by the magnitude of the resultant would yield the z coordinate of the resultant force R. So, this is our answer. The resultant is of 140 kilo Newton in magnitude. Its point of application is 3.4 meters along x axis and 8.0 meters along z axis. So, I hope you found this video useful and if you have liked the video, please subscribe to the channel and if you have any doubts and queries, please leave your comments below and I would respond to them at the earliest. So, thank you for watching and see you in my next video.